In Texas today, the world's biggest lineup of conservatives will descend on CPAC, featuring Republican lawmakers like Ted Cruz and Lauren Boebert, media personalities like Sean Hannity, and the man who still dominates the party, former President Donald Trump, set to deliver the keynote address on Saturday. Against the backdrop of a key test of his grip on the GOP in this week's primaries. Multiple candidates he backed who have embraced his election fraud lies doing well, including former TV host Carrie Lake in a race too close to call even this morning with a narrow lead against Karen Taylor Robeson in the Arizona governor's primary. Lake's also set to appear at CPAC after claiming without evidence before Election Day that the primary was rigged until the votes came in showing her in the lead. I want to bring the Republican Party together. I mentioned that earlier. We're one big, happy, sometimes, sometimes dysfunctional family, but we can come together. Another Trump ally set to speak at CPAC today, Hungary's far-right leader, Viktor Orban, who met with Mr. Trump Tuesday and who has attracted a following among some U.S. conservatives for his anti-immigrant rhetoric. During a recent speech in Romania, Orban said he doesn't want Hungary to become a mixed-race country, railing against migrants from outside Europe. All of it coming as Democrats are celebrating and hoping to capitalize on momentum in the midterms around access to abortion after a stunner of a win for abortion rights advocates in Kansas, where voters chose to protect abortion access. President Biden signing an executive order to try and make it easier for women seeking abortions to travel between states, applauding the Kansas vote and what it could mean come November. Court practically dared women in this country to go to the ballot box and restore the right to choose. Hallie, let's talk about the uh, general election, the matchups in the fall, and more focus on races that usually flew under the radar, things like Secretary of State. Yeah, this is so important, right? These are the people who actually run the elections on the state level. Oftentimes, we're talking about the governor's races, right, instead. But in several key states, when you look at these races, election deniers have won Republican primaries for this job, including in Arizona and in Michigan just this week, candidates who have questioned the legitimate results of the 2020 election. So the concern... If they win their general election races come November, they could be in positions of power in states that might be decisive in the 2024 presidential race and might use that platform to erode trust in any potential Democratic victories. Savannah? And the governors, too, can have a big say there as well. We'll continue to watch. Hallie, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.